news from the region, and from around the state, it's Florida Focus. Welcome to Florida Focus, I'm Giovanna Billington. Collier County investigators will travel to Haiti to interview the man charged with murdering his wife and five children. Mesic Damas was discovered hiding near a hotel in Port-au-Prince on Monday. His wife and five young children were found murdered in their North Naples townhome over the weekend. If convicted, Damas could face either life in prison or the death penalty. A Plant High alum is among the dead in last weekend's Everglades plane crash. Bruce Barber, his wife, and 14-year-old son died after their plane experienced problems over southwest Broward County. The family was returning from Gainesville after the UF football game. A friend of the Barbers also died in the crash. They leave behind a daughter who was not on the plane. A final public hearing on the 2010 Pinellas budget gets underway in just about an hour. Ashley Brandon has more in the newsroom. That's right, Giovanna. Pinellas County Commissioners will meet tonight for a final reading of the proposed budget. Revenues have taken quite a hit, in part because of declining property values. As a result, the 2010 budget is $1.7 billion. This includes $81 million in cutbacks. 738 positions will be lost. This is the lowest number of employees under the Board of Commissioners since 1988. If the budget is approved tonight, the changes will go into effect on October 1st. Back to you, Giovanna. Thanks, Ashley. The Coast Guard search for a missing boater ended tragically Monday afternoon. Paula Miglarini's body was found in the Gulf about two miles west of Hudson. The 45-year-old single mother of two was reported missing by her mother late Sunday afternoon. The Pasco County Sheriff's Office is investigating. And finally, being naked didn't stop 91-year-old Robert Thompson from keeping a home intruder from getting away. Police say Thompson heard 26-year-old Jose Pascal breaking into his Lake Worth home. He jumped out of bed and held Pascal at gunpoint until officers arrived. That's all for Florida Focus. I'm Giovanna Billington.